I need to be on this platform and it's just like in general like I help people every single day in my personal and private life that like imagine how many people I can participate in their growth and awareness because people are fucking dumb okay and they just they lack that awareness Creatures, <laughs> it's your girl Luxury Leah. I'm probably not looking at luxurious right now because um, or whatever. But um, I I feel compelled. Like I feel moved. It's chubby, chubby, tub tub. Stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only okay. So my I have a little range and I get a little ooh, little spicy at the mouth when I'm driving. When I'm driving, I'm a different creature. I literally thought about putting a camera in my car just to show y'all how it be when I'm driving. Cause ooh, good. But anyway, um, here we are. So I, yeah, so I've been feeling compelled to do change to my channel. So I'm always like, you know, all these other like excellent YouTubers who have it all figured out, give you all this advice and courses, and they're like, you need to do it like this, and you should be like that, and niche, niche, niche down. And I just feel so freaking constricted that I don't even want to work. Like, I hate, here's the thing about me, like, I'm anti as heck. But I just like doing my own thing. Whenever, like, there's too much authority or too many people telling me how to do something or what to do or gatekeeping and making it a fucking big-ass deal to just express myself, I, I shut down I get the hell out of there. And that's what happened with me with YouTube. Like, even them, they especially be like, hey, if you don't post videos, we're going to take your monetization. That pissed me off. Like, so it backfired on them. Like, this, that's when I stopped posting. Like, you're not going to tell me, like, oh, if I don't post, you're going to take it. Then take it then. Fuck. And how are you going to take something that I earned? Like, I was, I remember there was a time when I wanted to be monetized so bad. I was like, oh, please, I just want to be monetized. I was working, I was being consistent, I was doing all the things that older YouTubers say you should do. I'm not doing that no more. This time around, we're not doing that because it doesn't make me happy. And I just do what makes me happy. So I just had like a whole epiphany because I'm open. When you're open, you receive. So I was being open with what I like. And I was receiving un unwillingly, just like living. You know what I'm saying? And a message came to me. It was like, you could be like the mall. Meaning, like, you can have. No matter if I can them all like like a cable network. I don't I want my channel to be like more like a cable network. Where I don't have a freaking niche because that's not who I am. I'm not one thing. I'm a hairstylist, right? That's my trade, that's what I do for a living. I like to cosplay, I love freaking animation. Um and even as a cosplayer and a, and a person that loves animation, I'm not one thing. I'm like all these I'm like all these facets. I'm not even the typical person that does that. Like the nerds be mad at me. Like, girl, you're not no real nerd. Cause I just, I'm just different. Like I'm not typical of the whatever you think I'm supposed to be about the things that I like. I'm not the basic this bare. I'm not the bare necessities of that. I'm the Leah of it, which is like the original fucking secret recipe of it. Like I'm not. I don't have a way of being. I'm not like y'all. Even though I'm with y'all and I'm like in different spaces, like I could fit in in like pretty much any room. And I'm, I love that about myself, right? Because I know a little bit about everything and I don't box myself into one way of being, one way of thinking. I never think like I know it all and I got it all. I get off that energy. I notice that people get intimidated and like, because she know everything. No, I'm super inquisitive. Things I thought I knew yesterday, I don't even know no more. I don't want to know no more. So. I, and I tell people all the time, like, I will contradict myself because it will be times, and I, you should notice too, as a person that's watching my channel, there will be times. This what I'm talking about. She's like, rage coming up. There will be times when I'm like, oh, this is how I feel. This, I'm very strong about this feeling and this way of being, way of thinking. And then, like, I'm not no more because that's life. You're supposed to experience with it. Open, have your perception just heightened so that you can. Ha you can realize sometimes that no, that's not the way. Like I am not the person I was 10 minutes ago, <laughs> much less 10 years ago, or like 20 years ago, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm, I'm always changing. Like the only thing that's consistent is and constant is the change. And I embrace that, like or whatever. I don't care, call me what you want. Oh, you did, yeah, I'm not. Okay. So anyway, um, I got on here looking dry as hell. 
because I have to have to let y'all know. Go. That's what keeps my road rage into. People doing dumb stuff. Like I just started driving less than a freaking year ago. No, maybe maybe even a little more than a year ago now. And I drive better than these motherfuckers. Y'all been driving y'all whole lives. You still trash. Anyway. What the fuck do you want? Do you think I'm a cat? Lord. Okay. So, yeah, about my channel. So, yeah, I'm keeping it cute. I'm keeping it me. So, with me being, like I said, being like a cable network with this shit, what do you do when you have like a cable network or like a Netflix or something like that? Is it, what's today? Friday? No, Saturday. Ooh, I can park here. So, like, if I'm, I'm watching them, um, if I have a network, I can watch a cooking channel. I can watch a gaming channel. I can watch, oh, that would be cool. I could watch, a, I mean, game show channel. I could watch a learning network. I could watch um, some people review things. And that's how it's basically gonna be on my channel. My channel, I'm gonna review things because that's something I genuinely like to do. I like to buy something, like bought this on Netflix. This is a freaking phone case. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. Even photographers see this phone case and they're like, Oh, it's a nice phone and I'm like it's a phone case yeah, like I met a photographer famous rich photographer okay and um I met him at an art gallery and then when I was taking a picture with him my friend who was taking the picture with my phone they were like oh that's a nice you got a nice camera there and I was just like Mr. Rich Famous art person at this gallery makes all this money that's not a camera mm -hmm. cute but um anyway so yeah so I like to review things look at this bag I have a talent. Look at my outfit, girl. I went to see a movie and I had a, like, um, what did I do? Um, you never run errands in your clothes from yesterday? My job is it. So, um, this bag is so cute. But I went to see a movie and they had like a Barbie booth and I didn't even know it, but I was so happy I had like some pink on because something about pink is says Barbie. It's branding. Like, I just, I'm just good at getting like little cute things. It is my life. It is not like a part. It's not like, look at A mirror that is your thing. You stick with me, honey. You will be cute as ever. I don't, look, come on. Look at my drinking cup. It's my drinking cup. You know what I mean? In my, even in my drinking cup, I'm cute. I'm just like, I'm just like cute. So whatever. Like, look at my, look, look at my um charger for my phone. In my car. It's extra long because I have a big old truck. So like, somebody could be way back there and they can still talk to their home. Okay, if my phone falls while I'm driving and it's like under the car, I can just grab it, pull it up, fish it up like a fishing line. I'm, I mean, I'm just smart too. Like I'm really smart. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think I'm smart in people, and that pisses me off. But I'm still open. I'm not I perceive. I'm not the smartest person. There's always things I can learn. Like my, my like yearning for learning is just, oh, uh, it's just so good. So yeah, that's why I think I, can, I need to be on this platform. And it's just like in general, like I help people every single day in my personal and private life. That like, imagine how many people I can participate in their growth and awareness because people are fucking dumb. Okay, and they just they lack that awareness, and sometimes it makes me feel outcast because I'm like I don't freaking belong here. Anyway, so my channel, <laughs> I get a little like my channel is gonna be like like basically that. So I'm gonna do my reviews still. I'm still gonna do my gaming. I'm still gonna do my hair stuff, and I'm gonna put things in little boxes. And if you like that, you watch that. And if it ain't your cup of tea, you don't watch it. And if you don't like me at all, then don't freaking come over here with that. We don't care. We didn't, we're not, I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to just do me. And the right people that like me is going to F with me. And the right people that, and the people that don't, they can F off. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, I'm not going to be anything that I'm not. Ever. I just, I can't, it physically pains me to do something I don't want to do. Like that, I find the source and the bane of my existence. The source of my pain and destruction and like, what harms me. <laughs> Mentally, emotionally. And the bane of my existence is being forced into something, having to do things. Like I used to say, like, oh, I have a problem with authority, and that might have something to do with it. But what is authority? Because like I'm a root person. Like, what, what is the root of authority? The root of authority is somebody controlling your move, telling you what the fuck to do. Like you don't know what the hell to do. Like I already know how what to do. I know how to move around in society. I don't need nobody to activate me and you know, like penalize me. Like I punish myself enough, honey. I don't need your freaking 
social constructs to tell me what to do and how to do it. So yes, my channel, um, the new Luxury Leah page, is just gonna be me doing me unapologetically. Okay, and sometimes I'm gonna have my makeup on. I'm gonna be so cute, and so fancy, blah, 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 blah. and then sometimes I'm not. Sometimes my drink look a little bit like my my mascara will be like all up in my creases and making me look a hot dog circle. Who gonna check me though? Nobody gonna check me. So I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna tube to you. I'm not calling YouTube. I'm gonna tube you. Anyways, so the camera keeps turning off because my alarm's going off because I just ran out to get out some things, got what I need to get, and I have to run back in the house and I need to um get changed because you can't be outside with your outside clothes like that from yesterday. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get changed. Today I'm doing a Power Rangers shoot. And I have like a million shoots that I've done in the last <laughs> couple of years. And I always film everything and it's like, what well, are you saving this for so when you die they can make a montage? Post your shit! So I like that's not for you, that's for me. So I'm like, I'm like, Leah, you gotta post your shit. And it really was because I feel like I'm all these different directions. How can I post it? It's gonna be confusing to people. If y'all confusing, y'all stupid and y'all need me a lot. You need me the most. If you confused by me living my life, then you could then I'm then you need me more than anyone else. So yeah, I got so many amazing things coming up and I'm working on and working through some things. So come with me. I invite you to join me okay because if you're not a lover you are a hater okay and i got a lot of haters and i love it i love the hate so keep it up thank you thank you for giving me a reason to keep on being me being spicy because you hate it <laughs> you miserable <laughs> okay so i'm actively i don't know why i like i picked up swearing like a sailor somewhere in, in 20, between 2022 and 2023. Cause I didn't do that before. Like, I, especially my mom shaved my head, I was bald, I was like a monk. It was no swear words coming out of my mouth. Like, I don't wear, I pick up all this freaking, it's just like, I was activated from not being able to do what I wanted to do, to, from feeling like I had to do something. So like, even that, like when I shaved my head bald and I was just like on some like, you know, spiritual journey and I was just like learning all about myself in a different way. It created ex everything you do creates these expectations because people exploit stereotypes and they exploit their um that compartmentalizing process of their brain where they want to just put you in a category and a and a and just understand you and get a freaking and just box you in. So while they're doing that, harmlessly of course, they don't mean to fuck your shit up, but they fucking your shit up because they they got you fucked up and they get. <laughs> So sorry, we're gonna watch me watching me get to this. So yeah, they got you messed up, girl. They got you messed up. So here's a rundown. On Monday nights, I stream on Twitch. If you can't get enough of me, then catch me there. I'm really about to change that to Tuesday nights because Monday nights are it feels it feels heavy for me. And everybody wanna be telling me, yeah, I love you, but I'm watching wrestling. No, my friends are saying that. So I'm like, okay. You know, listen to the audience. So I'm gonna be on Tasty Tuesdays with Luxury Leah. And if you love Luxury Leah, and you're gonna hate him. Join me there on Twitch. I'm gonna start StreamYard. Wow, the words cannot. They don't. StreamYard. I'm figuring it out because I wanna um, stream on YouTube as well for all the lovers and, and the haters. Because you, remember, if you're not a lover, you are a hater. But if you are a hater, good for you. Like, I want you to be, that's the thing. You think I wanna be myself and I don't want you to be yourself? I want you to be yourself. There's a reason why you're a hater. You probably need to work on understanding why that is. But, um,. Good luck with that. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going in. Um, and I'm going to be back soon. Look forward to these highlights from my Power Rangers. Shoot. I, uh, I'm not going to get into it. I was about to give you the backstory. Like, oh my God, I always wanted to be the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> Black girl. But I'm going to do that on that video. So make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that you hit the notifications and make sure that you follow me and you share my stuff, what they're calling algorithm donations. Like every time you click something, I like it, I don't like it. You're just you're, you're communicating to YouTube that I exist. I matter. My black life matters. So do that. You know what I mean? Don't be cheap. Don't be just here observing. Activate, activate, activate. And I'm going to go. So take care of yourself take care of each other and um don't be a love or a hater 
you decide. Make a choice. Or no, toe the line. Be a lover and a hater. Why don't you? You know what I'm saying? Do that. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I like Instagram is my my favorite means of like posting and expression. Like I just see it I find it simple. I feel like most of my friend groups are there and it's still what I enjoy. So make sure you follow me on Instagram too at luxury Leah underscore underscore or luxury Leah backup. I don't know. If you find me. Speak. Bye.